hi guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time i am alice and to my returning subscribers you guys already know you're the best so today we are here again on another diy braids and i used darling um, extension so i parted it into three i'm not really the type that love long hair but because of this time i'm doing it's actually a feeding braid and i'll be doing a full any braid hairstyle so i'm going to actually put the picture on the video for you guys exactly so this was the inspiration i decided to like you know try this particular hairstyle and yeah this is me patting my hair as always patting the back hair without using mirror i don't even know how i just do that i always feel my hair like i don't know i'm just so used to this not as if i don't i only use mirror for the front to part the front but when it comes to the back i don't use mirror i just feel it and then it comes out nice i mean not perfectly well but yeah so this is me doing the back um the back is going to be not less braid while the front i'm going to be doing a feeding braid for it so this hairstyle they call it fulani braid hairstyle so if you have been watching my video and you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe give the video a big thumbs up if you like it and also let me know in the comments down below if you braid your hair yourself and um so this video is actually what i ordered versus what i got <laughs> not like what i ordered i mean obviously what i wanted versus what i got for myself i mean a diy is not the one that you go to the saloon and you do what you ordered versus what you got maybe i'm going to do that but i doubt because i'm not the type that I actually like to go to the saloon i don't think i'll even be going to the saloon to braid my hair the little that will take me to the salon this year to do my hair is going to be relaxing my hair because i in a year i relax my hair like two times and then one times i go to the salon to you know receive a proper relaxer and treatment and all that so guys you can you guys can see that this video is detailed showing you guys how to part your hair and also do the feeding method for the knotless braid and also i did a feeding braid i did two different methods to do the cornrow at the front which you are definitely going to see that so whichever method you think is easy you can also try it as well so i'm going to allow you guys to continue watching well yes i take a break from my talking because this baby girl talks too much <laughs>
so guys baby girl is back again and we finally got into the front of the hair which is the main business so guys hmm, this particular hair at some point i was like who sent me message eh it's been long i did this type of braid like if i'm going to make any braid that is going to be much it has to be just my natural hair alone but i don't know where i got this uh you know energy to think about doing this hair that is really really much but i admire the hair so much and i decided to do it and it's been long i did a braid that is this much like this much normally if i'm going to do my hair is it that is a not less braid and it doesn't used to be that much or i'll just do mini braid with my natural hair without adding extension because adding extension can be a lot of stress a lot of stress if i'm doing my natural hair it takes me three hours or four hours to complete it but adding extension it can take me like seven hours or nine hours and this particular one took me nine good hours to complete it yes nine good hours but i started this hair i started making this hair at night so um, i couldn't complete it so i had to just do the one that i can and then go and sleep because body no be firewood so you guys should watch aside from listening to my voiceover because the video is detailed how to make it it's very very detailed and um, i was just feeling myself like what am i the one that did this thing like oh my days guys people are really talented people are gifted because as in <laughs> um well, this is so nice and um anyways you guys are actually going to be the one to judge the results because i i don't know what i ordered what i wanted was it really what i got you guys will let me know in the comment section did i try or how many percent will you give me or how many score will you give me over 10 maybe you're going to give me four over 10 three over 10 i want to know in the comment section <laughs> when you're done watching this video so from this you guys can see how i'm adding the attachment into the hair and guys let me give you guys tips to save your edges i always say this in my videos and i'll keep on saying it just for newcomers and even the ones that have been here that are still not doing it you guys can see how i braid the hair from the beginning attachment you no know, they touch my hair because no way it is not allowed i weave it i weave it even like four times before i start adding extension for you guys to know how serious i am with protecting my edges i don't joke with my edges at all i don't joke with my edges even though that i've always had a nice edge you know that if you don't take care of it well it's gonna break it's gonna you know it won't grow so i don't joke with it at all i always take proper care you guys can see from the beginning to almost like after weaving it like three or four times from the beginning before i added the extension so yes this is me the next morning because i couldn't take it anymore i was like who sent me message so i had actually finished one part of the hair and then i went to sleep because like i said body is not firewood i was really tired i was very i, I slept around 3 a.m i slept around 3 a.m and i said let me continue this morning because i will be having tests after this particular day so i decided to um start making the hair around 12 p.m so that at least i'll finish around that maybe three or four or so but i couldn't start around 12 a.m i ended up and i be i couldn't start around 12 p.m so i ended up starting around 2 p.m and then i finished around six or thereabouts so let me take another break and allow you guys to watch i think this is the part that i did the second feeding method so i want you guys to watch it carefully to see that i've done a method before for the other part and this is the second method i'm talking about this is the second method you can do your feeding so you can try out anyone that you feel is easier for you to do then you try it out
so guys finally i was happy that i'm done with the braiding and my friend helped me with the hot water if i show you guys the behind the scene of this hot water you guys will not know it's looking so perfect though but if you see the behind the scene <laughs> it was hell <laughs> so as always i don't no matter if i'm doing extension braid or natural hair i don't forget my oil my you know applying it to my scalp and also the my hair butter like i apply every single thing to the hair as well and then i don't trim my hair when i do my extensions it actually used to be difficult to trim it by yourself sometimes i trim it but not directly like i trim it away from the length of my hair i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say like i start the trimming from the lower part i don't go close to where my hair and like i don't go around my hair area i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say so instead of trimming i always use muse to you know apply it so that it to lay down the hairs that fly out that is what i'm trying to say so i don't trim my hair when i use extension on it when i braid it myself so guys this is the final outcome and i really love it it came out really nice i wasn't expecting it to come out nice like this like oh my it didn't shock me so guys let me know in the comment section what score will you grade this baby girl and it's been long this thing is actually long and i love it a lot thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you are yet to and i'll see you guys in another diy video for now bye